till this day, I'm a little dazzled on how they met. And because I don't really know per se how you met, I think I'm gonna have the fellas come up and reenact that night for me. My favorite author once wrote, if you live to light them up and lighting them up lights you up, then that's the key to an intimate relationship. Because here I stand today, proclaiming my willingness to create that spark in you for the rest of life. Thinking about you always makes me smile. The way you look at me reassures me that I have found the one. Some say that coincidence is God's way of being anonymous. And if that is true, then they thank God for our meeting and providing me the angel that stands before me today. Our story was very atypical. A simple dress color and game of men. We set our hearts aflame and turned my life around for the better. Who would have known that the Las Vegas girl with the white dress and the Tweety Bird lips would turn out to be the soulmate and wife to be? When Jason went to college in Las Vegas, I told him not to get serious with a girl there. I didn't want him to live far away from me. I'm so glad he did not listen to me for once. He found beautiful Yvonne. Jason, you did good. <laughs> Apparently there are many tales to this story, but legend has it they met when Ting was in wing woman mode for her girl, the Tony Ho with the target. Jay was merely the side ugly dude that Ting had to distract. You see, Ting is an oh is a laid back, always on the sidelines, staying hydrated with me kind of girl. Jay, more of a wild card, dancing with those facials and finding one victim who he dances with for five hours straight, which obviously has never led to fruition until now. days when she would wake me up, make me breakfast, toast my bagels, make me lunch. So now that I hear that Jason's getting that treatment, <laughs> I am pretty jealous because I'm going to miss that. <laughs> Yvonne's a lucky girl to have you. She's so lucky to have someone who cares so much about her. And that's all I would ever wish for. Every day. We were like looking at, we wanted to dance with girls with white dresses, and she happened to be one of them. And then that's how it all started. Uh, Yvonne's kind of always been the loud, kind of intrusive one of our siblings, right? I honestly, no, honestly, I can't remember a moment of silence with her ever. I just want to tell Jason uh, that you've got yourself quite a handful here, okay? Don't say I didn't warn you. But, that being said, You've also got yourself one of the most loving, caring, kind-hearted souls that I've ever had the honor of calling my sister. Jason, take care of her for me, yeah? Yvonne and I clicked right away. She is so sweet and caring, a great cook, and shares my sense of humor. I am so blessed to have her in my life. You've always had a beautiful impact on my life, and you taught me there's everything to know that Patience is the key to happiness, and you are one of the most loving and generous person I know, and I think everyone that knows you knows that. But I don't think I've really received anything more. I honestly don't know what I would do without you today. I actually didn't find out about Ting from Jason. 
You see, Ronald told me Jay had met this chick in Vegas who called him a sexy boy. I remember asking her name, and he said, Ting. Ting? Does she speak English? <laughs> he assured me this girl was special because she was cute, driven, and angelic. Your dad couldn't be with us today, but I know he's damn proud of you and what you've accomplished. You turn out to be one hell of a son, a friend, a brother, now a husband and future father. You know, I really believe that his dad really uh, was looking after him all this time to really select the right person for him. And if Jason's dad was here today, I'm sure he'll be delighted to have Yvonne as his daughter-in-law. And Jason, I am so very proud of you. I see so much of dad in you. You're both so charming and good looking. <laughs> I wish Maddie was here today to celebrate this beautiful marriage. I know he would have approved and loved her as much as we all do. Although my father, my father couldn't be present here today, I know he would have supported our decision to grow old together, as you had once promised my mother on their wedding day. Although you never met my father, I promise to display the same fire and spirit that defined his character, and I vow to place your life in our future after me before my own, for I'm far less without your beautiful and selfless presence. My love, I can't believe this day has finally come. I know you're going to look extra beautiful on our first look, and I pray that the image of you and the emotions I'll feel will play through my head over and over for the rest of life. I'm so happy to be here with you today knowing that after we kiss, each and every breath will be forged together, that our hearts will be one and inseparable, that our goal of finding true love will be met, and that our next chapters in life will be our best. With the belief that our dreams have finally came true, I love you so much, baby. I'm coming for you. Today, I get to finally marry you and call you my husband for eternity. Can't believe four and a half years, we were just two random strangers who happened to meet MRK in the hip-hop floor the day after my birthday. Definitely the best birthday gift of my life. I know our encounter is more than just a coincidence. God has a bigger plan for us. Without you there by my side, as we unite our lives today, I anticipate all the goodness that will enter our lives as well as the joy we'll spread to the people around. You are my inspiration, so let's do this. I love you. Your kindness and patience in our everyday interaction never goes unnoticed. Those are the traits that I see in you that will make a remarkable husband. I want to acknowledge your parents for raising such an inspiring man. <laughs> Your father's smile is beaming down on us today because he is so proud of the man you've become. I vow that not a second will pass without me thinking of you and showing your passion and love so great that the earth trembles beneath us because you enable my heart to defy gravity. And I only want to lift your tire and show the world that perfect love, our love, actually exists. You found me In her, I think he found everything that he needed and everything that he ever wanted and more. But Yvonne, I want you to also know how lucky you are to have Jay. I have no doubt that he will give his 110% into this marriage to honor you, protect you, love you, and make you happy. Years go by and I stand here today and I think to myself of how proud I am 
to have helped shape him into the man he is today. You know, that by, you know, constantly manipulating him to want what I want, he rebelled and he was like, you know what? I don't want what you want anymore. You know, you want that right side of the car, you can have it. You know what I mean? I'm going to go to school until I'm old and gray because I'm going to do whatever I want. I'm going to eat, live, and breathe the gym because the next time I get that red bead face, it's because I burned 10,000 calories. And I refuse to bring any girl home that is less than perfect. And when I do meet the love of my life, I am going to kiss her right when I see her that same night at the club in Vegas. And I'm going to make her my wife. It's 10.15 right now. Doesn't the girls get free drinks till 11? Man, what are we going to look for tonight? Girls in gray dresses or white dresses? Let's go for white. Let's go. Oh my God, Sylvia, why are we here so early? Oh, the music's so loud in here. Ah, oh, there's so many Asian people. I hate Asian people. Ah. Oh. I think I see one. Oh, it's the girl in the white dress. Oh, wait, where did the guys go? Oh man, forget it. I'll just do what I know best. The rock, sway, clap. The rock, sway, clap. Oh my God, Sylvia, is he looking at me? Is he coming closer to me? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Why is he coming? Oh my oh, God. I'm gonna Did ask he just touch me? Oh. Did he just touched me. Why is she turning around? Sylvia, is he cute? Yes or why no? Why is she turning around? Oh, he's not cute? Oh my God, right, oh my God. Let me touch her out the waist a little bit. Oh jeez. oh jeez. Oh. okay. All right. Oh jeez. Oh, Forget okay. it. Why won't he go away? Oh, yeah. Let me just ask her to dance. Let me just ask her to dance. What? There we go. She's looking. Oh She's my looking. God. Why is he so short? Oh my God. <laughs> Somehow, despite the distance and being polar opposites, you two made it work. There will be plenty more challenges along the way where you two might feel you're right or hashtag one things your way. Don't settle and compromise. Instead, fall back to what you do best, and that is to encourage and never stop pushing each other to be better. My hope for you two is that you continue to encourage, challenge, and support each other. Don't take any moment together for granted because each moment today is a memory for tomorrow. You have three special words to tell her every single night. You are right. <laughs> and for these two people sitting in front of me here today, I wish them all the happiness in the world. The Disney kind of happily ever after. So today, in front of all the important people in our lives, I faithfully choose you, Jason Nicholas Vaughn, to be my partner in life. I can't wait to start a family of little wands with you. <laughs> to be able to call you my husband is a privilege, but to be able to love you is a blessing. So today, September 2nd, mark the day that I love you most. But September 3rd will mark the day that I love you more. And that will go for the 4th, 5th, and beyond our last breath together. There will be no one else in this world for me but you. I love you with all my heart, Yvonne Chase.